Sunday, July 19th, 2020, today. We started out in Alexandria, Minnesota. Big goals for today was to not only exit Minnesota, which was my 48th state, but to make our way to North Dakota, which is number 49, and South Dakota, which gave me 50 states. That's why I'm wearing my USA shirt today because we made it. I got my 50 states after a 32 year goal that I didn't work on every year. It just happened for most of it. This is pretty much the only trip I had to go out of my way that I wasn't gonna do something anyway. So picked up three states on purpose to finish off the states. You know, kind of excited for the day, but not as much as mom because she got to get 50 states today, which was very exciting. Um, so that was kind of fun. We stopped at Dollar Tree and I got a couple extra little things. I got her a bouquet and picked up a package of little uh, medals with red, white, and blue ribbons so I could give her a, a medal for getting all 50 states. And we got some balloons. And yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. We, we were silly and had some fun with it. It's just kind of what we do. Well, when we got to the North Dakota border, we were pretty much in the middle of nowhere, so it was very easy to park the car and carry camera equipment and um, get some good video of the scenery surrounding the sign and us in front of the sign showing that we made it. State number 49, get number 50 in about an hour. South Dakota's next. And we packed up in the car and uh, deviated from our planned route because I saw a sign that said state line that way and I said that must be South Dakota, let's go. Much of anything on the map. Your first steps in your 50th state. <laughs> and when we got there, we found some great plaques that said you're now leaving North Dakota and entering South Dakota. So it was perfect. And then the big South Dakota to welcome you was also there. And we celebrated in style. <laughs> Liberty herself. South Dakota being number 50. So a, an interesting thing that happened when we were at the border of uh, North, North Dakota and South Dakota is when we were getting ready to leave I wanted to have some uh, low angle road footage. So I have a thing that you stick on with suction cups. So I was sticking it on the side of the car right down the driver's side door but it's right behind the tire. So I'm there kneeling down and you know, messing around near the tire. My mom's sitting there with her camera, just kind of getting the footage of me putting the thing on. And a guy had turned around and came back and he pulled over behind us. And we're just kind of like looking at him and going, okay, what's this guy doing? Is he coming over to take a picture of the sign too? Like, does he have a question? Like, what's going on? And he kind of steps out and he goes, are you having car trouble? And we're going, Oh, no, we're, just, we're fine. It's okay. <laughs> but it was really nice that he stopped to make sure that we were going to be, uh, that we were going to be okay and we didn't need any help. So that was kind of fun.
the most emotional part of the day today. Now, of course, the getting 50 states, that was exciting. But something that, that we came across today that I think was it, it's worthy of mentioning is as we were driving, we saw a uh, big one of those big electronic signs that usually warns for like lane changes or construction or whatever. But it said, um, community on lockdown, COVID positive, do not stop. Which, you know, af after a while, like, we've gotten in the habit of, like, wearing our masks and taking precautions, sanitizing our hands. But, you know, overall, being on the trip, it's kind of like you get into kind of a life-as-usual sort of routine. Even if it's, like, an unusual thing, you just start to adopt it, and it just becomes, okay, this is just what we do. And you kind of, like, not forget, but you kind of forget why you're doing it, and it just kind of becomes a, a thing you're doing. And so seeing that sign was a, a good reminder that there's a reason why we're taking the precautions we are and that this situation is far from over, that it's still having a big impact on communities, on individuals, on the world. And so that was, that was uh, not necessarily a highlight, but definitely a, an important moment today. Of course, we stopped at rest areas and, uh, you know, again, a variety of people, a lot of people wearing masks, some not. It doesn't seem to be required in South Dakota. Um, however, one rest stop did say um, you should wear a mask, um, but uh, so, people were cooperating for the most part. We really wanted to go to Wall's Drugstore. If anybody's been in South Dakota on Highway 90, you have seen signs for Wall's Drugstore, and we were told they had really good ice cream. So we planned on ice cream for hours as we drove there. When we got there, a lot of other people wanted to go to Wall's Drug Store and were there and it was a little too crowded and beyond our comfort zone because of the COVID-19 situation. would have felt uncomfortable in a crowd, but not like we were going to get sick from the crowd. So it made a difference, so we got in line for the ice cream, looked around, not enough people wearing masks, and too close and not six feet apart, and we just left. So, oh well, that was disappointing. Because today was National Ice Cream Day, too, on top of it. So we're going to have to make up for it tomorrow. We, uh, we wanted to go to Wall Drug, and I was half hoping it would be open and half hoping it wouldn't be. I was actually really expecting it to be like the gift shop was open, but maybe like the, the restaurant would be carry out only and like a lot of the shops would be closed and such. I was really expecting it to be a lot more closed than open. And when we got there, uh, everything was open from what we could tell. There was eating, people eating inside. The tables were kind of spread apart a little bit, but everybody was just standing around so close. Uh, a lot of people not wearing masks while standing so close. And um, we just kind of wanted to stop in, get some souvenirs, maybe get some ice cream, and, you know, eat outside. But... Um, there were just too many people inside. We just bought a couple souvenirs and headed outside. Behind the drugstore, they have a little kind of amusement area where families can spend time and climb upon a jackalope. Look it up if you've never heard it. After we went to Wall Drug, um, since we hadn't eaten anything at the cafe there, we weren't comfortable. We did stop at another restaurant down the street 
called uh, Three Amigos um, Cantina. So that was fun. Three Amigos is a fun movie if you haven't watched it. But uh, yeah, so we went in there and had some tacos. COVID restrictions in South Dakota. Uh, as a state, it seems like there aren't any like blanket regulations um, to control the spread. Uh, the governor seems to have left it up to citizens and local um, areas. The spread of COVID hasn't been very high in South Dakota, so it hasn't needed to be like mandated across the state. They recommend you wear a mask, they recommend hand washing, of course. Um, that's stressful. And they recommend uh, the best way to stop the spread is just not to be exposed. So to avoid things like crowds and, um, you know, large groups of people, getting too close to people and such. We are spending the night in Rapid City, South Dakota which is just over 30 minutes from Mount Rushmore, which is one of my goals to hit. Which ought to be just a really cool experience. I'm actually really looking forward to that. And so much so that even though I am a night owl, I will be getting up at 4 a.m. so that we can go out there and see this at sunrise. So we're gonna not get quite enough sleep, but we've got a shorter day of driving tomorrow. We can rest a little bit as we go and kind of play around a little bit. So, and then we can get to a hotel and rest early and have some time to relax, which we really need because we've had a couple of really long days on the road. And we'll see you on the road.